Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. We are welcome to the Fusion Mobile learning platform at Modoko Bikwalini by name, the commerce tutor, a commerce teacher, and in this class we will be looking at the topic turn over. So this outline we will be looking at the meaning of turnover, the rate of, of turnover, and the rate of stock turnover. We are going to look at factors that affect turnover and other important ratio. Now the first thing we have is the meaning of turnover. The turnover is the total net sales of the business. So the total net sales of the business is refers to as turnover. So to have at the turnover, what happened? The turnover consists of the um the total sales minus the return award and the sales return in the previous so amount of total sales give us the turnover now the next thing is the rate of turnover let's talk about the rate of turnover so the rate of turnover is the number of times in which the value of the average stock is sold so the number of times in which the value of average stock is sold we refer to that as what rate of turnover so the number of times in which the value of the average stock of the business is being sold. So we pass our data that you are what rate of turnover. Now turnover actually is equals to the sales minus return inward, which is the total net sales in the period. So rate of turnover, so the rate of turnover we show you what the number of times we divide of average stock is sold is the cost of goods sold over average stock. So we know how to calculate our cost of goods sold and our average stock generally we've done that already that the average stock is equal to the opening stock plus the closing stock over 2 divided by 2 so now we have an illustration a large scale list is consigned are the following balances in its books as as 34 December 1998 we have stock at 4 January 1998 we have 8,000 there we have purchase 85,000 we have sales 400,000 we have our stock at the first 7,000 we have the selling expenses and we are required to what to calculate the cost of goods sold and also the net profit and the rate of stock turnover. The rate of stock turnover. So first the next page is the profit and loss. We will have us to be able to determine the word the net profit and cost of goods sold. So trading profit and loss. So we have um, first thing we are going to have sales. Uh, sales is um, 120,000 naira. So I don't think we have any form of um, returning word there. So let's go to the use suit. So we have, um, we have opening stock. In the period. So why the opening stock in the period? Our opening stock, so first January 1998, is actually eight thousand naira. So we have eight thousand naira. So we're going to add purchase to that. Add purchase in the period. So our purchase in the period is actually eight thousand, eighty five thousand naira. So purchase, we add purchase to it, eighty five thousand naira. Then use bought. In a period either by cash or by bank or by on credits. So the addition of what goods bought in the period, whether by cash or by credits, give us the purchase in the period. So we have negative thousand naira. So do you have any um, produce return? I don't think so. Now the next is to let the closing stock determine our words are ah, well, cost of goods sold. So let's do this stock in the period, in the stock. I will mean, less that and our credit stock is 7,000 naira. I will mean, less credit stock to determine the cost of use. So when we less that, that gives us um, 
36,000 naira. So after this is our cost of goods sold. The cost of goods sold is 36,000 naira. So we can learn the cost of goods sold from the sales. And on that it was, um, um, I think, 24,000 naira. It was 24,000 naira. So generally, this is going to be our gross profits. In the gross profits. And again, what do we have? Our views of this. So we have the selling expenses. We serve as the expenses for the period to be less than for the gross profits to determine the net profits. So we have selling expenses. We have selling expenses. So we have our at least 10,000 naira. 10,000 naira. So we can add 24,000 naira as the net profits. So we have net profits. So which is um, 24,000. So we are asked to calculate what? The cost of goods sold. So we are asked to calculate the cost of goods sold. The cost of goods sold. Is actually exists down there. We add the okay, cost of the business of this So we have exists down there. The next thing we are asked to calculate is the net profit. Net profit. And our net profit now, net profit is 24,000 naira. The next thing is rate of stock turnover. Interesting. Rate, rate of stock turnover. Is what? Is the cost of goods sold is the cost of goods sold over the average stock. And generally, average stock is going to be average stock. Average stock is going to be opening stock. Which is um eight thousand plus the closing stock is the seven thousand uh, over two and I give up six thousand back from the and I give up six thousand back from the now the next thing is okay the data is seven thousand back from the I give up seven thousand back from the now the next thing is to calculate the rate of stock turnover now the eight now becomes Cost of goods sold, which is eighty thousand naira. So rate of stock, rate of stock turnover is equal to eighty thousand naira over average stock, which is seven thousand hundred, seven thousand hundred, and then give us. So that give us um eleven. So, the number of time in which the value of the average stock is what is sold in the period is 11 times. It's 11 times. So, it's 11 times. So, the rate of stock number is 11.47 times. So, that is all that. Now, next thing is to look at factors that affect on our world. The next thing in the period, this is that will affect the world. The next thing in the period are the price of the goods sold. So, the price of the goods is lower from net sale, the net sale in the period will increase. So there will be a change in what the turnover will increase. So, what also, what will also what can also affect that is the reduction of what in selling price of the goods. So, if what if the what the um, seller is to increase his turnover, discount, offering of discount, and other price reduction in sales can also what bring about what increment in the turnover. Also, the good way and reputation of the business. The business with a very good way and reputation we want. We have a very well, large turnover. We have a very large turnover. And also, it's the use of our uh, advertising, you know, publicity, sales promotion can also affect the world, the turnover of the organization. And also, um, the availability of goods and services. Each goods are available. At when the word, at, uh, at when the, um, the the customers or the buyer needs them, what happens? 
that also can increase what is not going on. There have been means of credit facilities. So if credit facilities are offered to the world, to the buyer, customers of the buyer, what happens? That can increase the turnover. We have a lot of factors that can also what affect the turnover apart from the one listed. So you can just read more to know more about that. Now we're going to look at other important ratio. Other important ratio. We have other important ratio like margin markup. We have net profit as a as a percentage of sales. We have um, gross profit as a percentage of sales. We have man managers commissions and like like that. So we are going to look at that now and some illustrative questions on that. So the next one on the line is to look at other important ratio. So we have different important ratio we are going to look at we have um, we have margin we have the markup, we have the gross profits, express the gross profit as a percentage of turnover. Also, we have um, the, the net profit. As a percentage of turnover, also we have um, expenses. Expenses as a percentage of turnover, we have um, six uh, man uh, managers. Manager's condition. So the first thing we have is the margin. So the margin is the profit expressed as a percentage of turnover. So it is what this is the profit expressed as a percentage of turnover. So it's one of the what one of the important ratios. So we're talking about margin is represent the relationship between the profit and turnover like the sales of the uh, organization so the only between the what the profit and sales is refers to as what margin and the margin is usually expressed as the profit and the percentage of what turnover so it's the profit rather which is expressed as the percentage of turnover so the profit the margin the profit will be expressed as the percentage of turnover so and you're saying the relationship between the profit and turnover that is and sales of the organization. Now the markup, this represents the relationship between the profit and cost of goods and cost of goods sold. So it is the relationship between the profit and cost of goods sold. So it is the profit expressed as a percentage of what? As a percentage of um of cost of goods sold. So generally our margin is going to be profit over our turnover by sales and hundred by the and um Back is going to be profits over cost that is under. So the difference between profit and sales is the margin, and the difference between profit and cost is the what is the markup. Now next we have is gross profit as a percentage of turnover. This is when the gross profit is expressed as a percentage of turnover. So we are going to have gross profit the formula over the turnover or sales in the period. Over sales also, turn over is sales or net sales that is 100. Why net profit is expressed? When the net profit is expressed as the percentage of turnover, that gives us the most um, net profit as the percentage of turnover. So we have net profit over sales or turnover in the year or turnover in one and it's 100 over 1 over 1 over 1 over 1. And this also expresses expenses as the percentage of turnover. This is when the expenses in the period is expressed as a percentage of turnover. So this formula for this is going to be um, expenses over turnover times 100 over 1. Now this now we have um, manager's commission. So this is what we use in calculating what commission to be given to manager. So we have this formula as the form to calculate the manager commission. So we have percentage commission. Percentage commission over 100 plus percentage commission times 
profits before profit before commission. Profit before commission. So if you talk about the margin, which is the profit expressed as a percentage of what sales, that is the relationship between the profit and sales is the margin. We have to talk about the uh, markup, which is the relationship between the profit and cost. And also we have to talk about the gross profits, which is what? Where any gross profit is expressed as the percentage of what turnover. I will give us gross profit or turnover or sales and times hundred. The next profit as the percentage of what turnover that will give us the net profit over turnover times hundred. And expenses as a percentage of turnover that will give us expenses over turnover times hundred. And the next one is the manager's commission. And man manager's commission will give us percentage commission over hundred plus percentage commission times profit before commission. Those are the formula we are going to use. I will be taking another question now to look at how to solve an example like this. So now we have an example. The following information was extracted from the books of Ayola. We have sales, we have opening stock, we have closing stock, we have expenses and purchases. And we have calculated the net profit as a percentage of turnover, the gross profit as a percentage of turnover, and also expenses as a percentage of what turnover. So, does that mean the net profit and the value of turnover have to calculate our net profits? So, first thing is the net profits. So, if you have to prepare the trading, the profits and loss, and generally, we have to build our target of sales, period, the sales, which is um, 45,000 naira. So the last cost of this sale is the next step. This sales. So we have um, so we have the last cost of this sale. So this is the format that the opening stock and the following that the opening stock, which is um twenty thousand naira. I mean add purchase in the period. So the purchase in the period is actually the five thousand naira. I mean add that to it. And it was for five thousand naira. And again, if the closing stock in the period, we have to lose that less that less closing stock. This is our cost of this sale now. Closing stock in the period is thirty thousand naira. So we have um fifteen thousand naira as the cost of goods sold. So we have um, fifteen thousand naira as the cost of goods um sold in the period. Fifteen thousand naira is the cost of goods sold in the period. So we have um thirty thousand naira. So and the difference between the sales and cost of goods sold. These are gross profits. Gross profit. Now. We have expenses, so we can close our net profit to have the less expenses. So the expenses in the period, we have the less expenses from the, from the gross profit. Expenses are actually 15,000 naira, so we have 15,000 naira. The net expenses, then give us 15,000 naira as the net profits. Okay, so this is the net profits. So we can then calculate our what our figure now. The first thing we are asked to do is the net profit. As a percentage of what? As a percentage of um, turnover, that will be net profits over turnover times 100. And I give us net profit is absolutely 15,000 naira over turnover. Turnover is, um, turnover is, um, which is sales. Turnover is sales for 5,000 naira times 100. So we have um is that kind of area we have three year one three that give us three 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 percent that three point three three percent so B we have gross profit as a percentage of turnover so we are going to have the gross profits over turnover times hundred so we have gross profits to be our gross profit is, is thirty thousand there. Over turnover is sales, which is for five thousand naira times hundred. So we have um 
Is that council zero? We have a thing here to we have a thing here to be that will give us um that give us three. So so I think that will give us um sixty six point six seven percentage. That give us sixty six point six seven percentage. Now C is expenses as a value of what turnover. So expenses are, that will be expenses over turnover times hundred. So expenses over turnover times hundred. So expenses is uh, absolutely um fifteen thousand naira over turnover, which is sales is for five thousand naira times hundred. So that will give us since it's similar to net profits and the value of what sales type one three. That give us and three and three three percentage. So when we are done, so this out can be all that ratios in the period. So that's been an interest lab in the people. Remember we talk about the meaning of turnover, we look at the rate of turnover, which is the rate in which a number of time in which number of time in which um, the value of average stock is what is sold in the period and we also look at the factors that are on the value after we look at other equivalent ratios like margin, markup um, um, we do also look at the manager's commission we look at the net profit express and the percentage of what turnover we also look at what gross profit as the percentage of what turnover we also look at expenses as the percentage of turnover so if you have any conclusion as that's what everything we've done to now in this last, this is going to to replay the video and some questions will be displayed on the screen. Do you want to attempt such questions? Thank you!